Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Mosher bringing you guys another video. In today's video, we're gonna cover how to complete all of week six challenges in under an hour, guys. This is the fastest way to do it. I know a lot of you guys out there are trying to get the John Wick outfit, and this is the quickest way to complete it. Starting off with deal damage with an SMG to opponents. You have to do 500 damage. The guys, the quickest way to do this, of course, find an SMG maybe at Tilted Tower, Salty Springs. The second you find one, just kill people, or you can just play the game out. The more that you play, it'll eventually happen. It does suck having to find an SMG. SMG. And if you don't know what the SMG is, it's a submachine gun, basically a suppressed submachine gun or the tactical submachine gun. And these can be found anywhere within the map. You can find them in houses and chests, anywhere. So literally, once you find one, just use it to get some kills. But my suggestion is once you down somebody in a match, go ahead and finish them off with the SMG instead of just running up to them with a shotgun because it deals more damage to them as well. So that's definitely one of the quickest ways is doing it in a duo or squad rather than on solo. We're gonna skip all the way down to one of the hard ones that a lot of people are trying to find just because I know a lot of people clicked on this video looking for this one. It's search between a metal bridge, three billboards, and a crash bus. If you guys don't know where the crash bus is on top of one of the mountains, you're not gonna know where this one is, but a lot of people already know where the crash battle bus is. The bridge and then the three billboards. If you guys look in the background of the gameplay playing right now, you'll be able to see exactly where to go on the mountain. Now, right on this mountain, there should be a thing right in the middle of the mountain that shows, and all you gotta do is pick it up. The quickest way to do this is just don't even worry about anything land there get it and then kill yourself and work on the next thing moving on to the next thing is search chests and anarchy acres guys this one's going to be hectic of course any of the search chest ones are going to be extremely hard at first just because of the fact that everyone's trying to do this so everybody's going to be landing at anarchy acres and they're going to be looking for the chest so knowing where each chest location is gives you the advantage on the other person that way you could actually get there and land there instead of having to run around looking for the chest Right now on screen is a picture of every single chest location in Anarchy. If you guys want, just take a screenshot of this picture right here. And while you're playing, just look exactly where the map is and decide where you want to land. If you see somebody going to a chest that you know, try to pick a different chest. But you can't be indecisive in the air, otherwise they're going to get there before you. The best tip I have for you guys when it comes to flying down is when you're flying straight down, land at a spot that has the lowest elevation, meaning not on top of a mountain. That way you can open your chute quicker than anyone else and you can get this chest before anyone else. Else. Moving on to the next quest or challenge, whatever you guys want to call it, is place a cozy campfire down. You only have to do this one time, guys. This is pretty simple. All you got to do is just play the game. If you find a campfire, place it down. Even if you don't need the health, just put it down before you actually die and lose it. So this is just, again, the quickest way to do it. I know everyone knows what a cozy campfire is. All you got to do is find it and, again, just waste it. Even if you have 100 health, just use it. Moving on to one of the hardest ones that I think there is, just because it takes a lot of time. It's not necessarily the hardest and it's not in the hard categories but it just takes time and that's one thing that is a little bit hard when you're trying to do this as quick as possible but this is summit different mountain peaks guys basically every single mountain peak all you got to do is land there or climb there and I'll show you guys exactly each mountain location that you can actually summit now if you don't know what summit means it's basically like climb so summit is basically climbing or landing anywhere on top of a mountain my suggestion is doing it around this area that way the second you land on that mountain you can move on to the next mountain and just keep doing this until you die i don't suggest doing it killing yourself and doing it again because that may take longer rather than yourself just landing at a mountain getting a single weapon and maybe some wood and climbing up to the next mountain moving along to one of the hard challenges is explosive el weapon eliminations i think they added this because they have a new gun in the game if you guys don't know it's a remote rocket launcher which no one knows how it's like but here's a little bit of a clip or a gameplay playing in the background of me using it you can use anything you can use grenades you can use the new c4s you can use rpgs the new snowball launcher it's not a snowball launcher it's actually an easter egg launcher you can use uh the new weapon that just dropped there's a whole bunch of different ways you guys can get explosive eliminations and you only need three so if you find an rpg you already know that should be easy especially if you run in a squad you can get it in one one squad kill and now the last and final challenge within week six challenges guys is eliminate opponents in retail row you only need three of these so again this only requires you to land there once maybe get all three kills in like a duo or squad i suggest always doing this with a friend one because it's a lot easier with a friend you have a teammate that can actually back you up and pick you up but then again if you do run with a team or a friend you got to remember that you and your friend have to get six kills there in order to complete it so you guys might have to land there once or twice it depends on how good you really are and there you guys have it that is how you complete all of week six challenges in under an hour that is the fastest tips that i can give you i like doing videos like this where we cover everything in week six in one video last week i did three different videos i think that's annoying because people have to click on three different videos and stuff like that so i decided to break it all down into one video 
video. I hope you guys enjoyed this type of a video. Please give this video a thumbs up. Likes are appreciated a lot. And if this video can break over 500 likes in the first 24 hours, I will bring you guys instantly in an insane solo squad gameplay for you guys. With that being said, thank you guys for all the love and support and enjoy some of these victory royales. You're the one I took my threat. They're leaving, just get him. I kinda messed up. <laughs> I see you. Whoa! No! Finish him, finish him, finish him! Uh. Oh no! Oh, he's above you. RPG, now! <laughs> They're like, oh crap. They're like, fuck, run! Friends. I thought they were friends. 1v1, 1v1, 1v1. Whoa! <laughs> 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 Go, baby!
it. Go down to it. Go down to it. Go down to it. Right there. 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 Right